So I'm gonna follow the footsteps of my youth speaks Didi Tara and not read from the book. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think it's like the writing for me. It's always changing, and it's like a documentation of how I'm always changing. And so those poems were my truth at that moment. And right now, other poems speak to me in a way that those poems don't. Um, and also, my family always calls me Becha Natma, so I'm like, was still deciding <laughs> which poems I was gonna read, like while walking and while, <laughs> while Muazzam was talking. So if you could offer me a little bit of grace for that. Um, yeah, and so I'll read a couple of short poems. Um, and then I'll stop reading poems and just talk for a second, and then I'll finish with the poem. Split a poem in two, and try to not make gender binary, and a scene of your body isn't written yet, and how will you direct this play uncensored, and clear we, clearly we didn't love wholly, because we continue to speak in halves. So that's one poem. Um, I think for me that's like, a contemplation of gender and what it means to be a woman because I like noticed somebody said like oh m a lot of the folks in the space are women and it's like you actually don't know my gender like I get to say that and I get to name that um, and just the way in which like especially in the South Asian community we like we make it a binary really like quickly and really harshly and that I, yeah, I was just reflecting on that. And then this is another short poem. Um, Our house is filled with an ocean. This is the karma of immigration. How could they think forgetting a country came with no strings attached? Look how they birthed a child filled with mourning. But this is only a poem, a performance of everything dead. And then I think that poem was me reflecting on my parents um, and like why I write and why I don't let them read a lot of my poems. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's something like I've been thinking about a lot with my dad because one of the poems, Dear Sanjana, like it doesn't really capture my dad in the best light. And I wonder like how awful it is for me to document him in that way. Um, so it's like, wow, it's like this writing thing looks really nice on the stage, but like, it's shitty <laughs> sometimes, like it's hard to have those conversations with parents when like I just don't, like uh, it's easier to say it like this than to like sit in front of them and talk. Um, yeah, so I could read another one. Actually, I'll read two more and then I'll get off the stage. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I write guzzles because that's what it, I think I'm supposed to do. An act of desperation to hold onto a history whiteness seems to erase and claim so calmly. I do not know if any of my ancestors were poets, but Nana used to sing often. Sometimes I wonder what Nana dreamt of when he was 20, but I forget the Hindi word for dream. I know the Hindi word for quiet, I promise. I promise I'll call Nani back this weekend. Now it's Monday of next week and I've forgotten how to call home again. I blame it on the university and write a guzzle instead. I wonder how many circles I will casually dance through before I get tired and fall asleep and forget I was just trying to remember how to call home. Sometimes I write guzzles to call home and I dance in circles instead because... And then this is my last poem. Um, and it's called Rituals, and it was like me not sleeping <laughs> and thinking about what it means to archive myself, and like this is like an archive of all of these writers, and I think it's, for me, it's an act of loving myself, because like I care about myself enough to put my pen down kind of thing and like write, um, so I'll end on this poem. Look, how I have this tendency of running into the night with my eyes open. Ever since I was eight, my family calls me Rat Kirani, and maybe they saw the poet in my hands before I did. Look, how the night holds me with freezing fingers and no sympathy. How the only thing spiritual I know is our willpower and my friends' hearts. 
how one of these stars is kind enough to cuff to cup my tears and it's twinkling and this means part of me is in the sky and the sky says it's okay if I'm not whole yet. Look, how the night never fails to come, how I can depend on its quiet and how this means the world is giving me time to write, how all of this hurting, how all of this healing spills out of the same bones that are hurting, how tonight these words dance in all their unsaid glory and this means there are poems I haven't written yet. Look, how these poems draw cities in my lungs. How the streets of these cities are lit as fuck and how tonight these poems put breath into my body again and again and look, how I am alive enough to be poet and isn't this something worth breathing for? Thank you.